In this video, we're going to take a look at taking a string and converting it to a different data type. And so to begin with, we're going to open up a project from a previous lesson. I'm going to open up this interactive project that I was working on. And as you notice here, and within this project, we took in somebody's age and we put it into a string. And now if I ever want to use this for any kind of math calculation, I'm going to need to convert it from a string to a number type, which, for example, would be either a byte or an integer or a double that I'd like to work with. And so within this application, I took in the string and then I went, went ahead and actually wrote the string out, which is fine. And I've done it twice in two different ways. I'm going to remove this last line of code here for our lesson. And so what I want to do is I want to take the age that they've typed in and actually convert it over to a different data type. And I'm going to use the byte. So I'm going to go ahead and create a byte to start with. And I'm going to call this one my age two. And then we're going to actually take this my age two. And we're going to say the value of this or what it's going to equal is going to be, and we're going to go ahead and type in the command here, convert. And then we're going to go ahead and hit the period. And then we get an option here to change it to do different things. So we're going to go ahead and say 2. And you'll notice you've got 2 bytes. So that's the option that I want to do to convert this to a byte. And then within the parentheses, we're going to put in the variable that we want to actually convert. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my age 1. And so I will end that with the semicolon there. So this is going to take the value of my age 1 and it's going to convert it to a byte and then store it within this my age 2. Now notice that my age 2 is a byte. So we're going to have to make sure that our byte or our data type that we use for this is also what we want to convert it to, which is to a byte. And so from now on, my age 2 will hold the value of what my age 1 is, but instead of it as a string, it will be held as a byte. So now I can actually do math to this. So let's go ahead and do one more statement. I'm going to say console dot right line. And this time I'm going to go ahead and say in 10 years you will be and then I'm going to go ahead and use a placeholder here years old. And then we're going to go ahead and end that with a semi or end that with the quote parenthesis. And now so far in my lessons we've only used just the variable here which is going to be my age 2 now since this is going to be the byte. But we can actually do math problem here as well. We can actually do the math calculation. So I'm just going to go ahead and say my age 2 and the logic will tell me that I'll need to actually say my age 2 plus 10. So we'll go ahead then and end this parenthesis and end that with the semicolon. And so now it's going to say what I'm passing in to this first placeholder is going to be the value that I have here after my first comma. And so this is going to be my age 2 plus 10. This whole statement is going to be passed into this first placeholder that you see here. So let's go ahead and rerun this application. I'm going to go to debug, start without debugging. And it says I've got an error. So let's go ahead and look to see what our error is. And you can see my error is the fact that I forgot this semicolon there. So let's go ahead and put that semicolon there. And then I'll go ahead and close this error. So let's rerun this now. Debug. Start without debugging. And now it asks me, how old are you? I'll type in 30. And then it does say you are 30 years old, which is still the statement that I have. Right here you are some the placeholder years old. The next line of code says in 10 years you will be 40 years old, which means that I've taken this statement here in 10 years you will be and then the variable that was passed in or the value that was passed in is going to be my age 2 plus 10 and so you can see that printed here and so this concludes the video on taking a data type and converting it to another data type and there are more options than to byte there's actually two boolean two decimal two double and then two several different integer types that you can actually use here to convert the thing to remember is the variable that you use here you want to make sure that that data type, which is going to be byte, is what you use here as well.